Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to go over compound interest. Learning math is just like juggling, it's all about practice. So let's go over the equation first. It's the amount is equal to P, the principal, the amount you put in the bank. One plus your interest rate as a decimal divided by the number of periods to the power of the number of periods times T in years. So I have an example here, $1,000 at 5% interest for 20 years. And we're going to run it three different ways. If it is compounded every year, if it is compounded every month, and if it is compounded daily. And you'll see as we compound it more and more frequently, it grows, but it doesn't grow by that much. You can also compound it um, continuously, and that's where that PERT equation comes from, but that'll be another video. So let's take a look at this right here. How much money am I going to have after 20 years with $1,000 in the bank at 5% interest? So my principal is what I'm starting with, 1,000 times the quantity 1 plus that rate, 5% converted to a decimal, 0.05. I am compounding every year. So the 1 goes there. And then this is every year, so 1 times t, or the 20 years. Uh, I have to really remember my order of operations to do this. Parentheses and then exponents. So I'm going to do 0.05 divided by 1, which is 0.05 plus 1. So this is 1.05 to the power of 20 times 1,000. And that's going to give me in 20 years, my $1,000 will grow to $2,653. Okay, now let's say we compound it every month. I'll do that in red here. Everything's kind of the same. My amount coming out is still dependent on my original principal times one plus my interest rate. In the bottom here, I am compounding it 12 times in a year. So 12 to the power of the number of times I'm compounding it in a year times the number of years. Okay, so again, in my calculator, I'm going to 0.05 divided by 12 plus 1. That's this value, 1.004 to the power of, I use this key right here, to the power of, but i got to multiply these things before I take it to the power. So open quantity, 12 times 20, close quantity. And that gives me 2.7 times that $1,000 of the original amount. And that gives me 27.13. So it's a little more if you're compounding monthly. Now let's take a look at if we are compounding daily in blue here. Compounding daily, all of the amounts, principles are the same. So we still start with $1,000 in the bank. It's going to be 1 plus our interest rate. We are now compounding daily. So 365 periods in a year to the power of 365 times 20. And again, I'm going to go 0 0.05 divided by 365 really teeny number, plus 1 to the power of, and now it's a giant number, 365 times 20 times my 1,000, and I get 2718. So if I put $1,000 in the bank at 5% interest for 20 years, if it is compounded annually, it would be 2600 If it is compounded Monthly, it'll be 2700 and if it's compounded daily, it'll go up about 5 bucks. The key, though, is that if you're borrowing money, this compound really hurts a lot because they compound it continuously, or if you're earning money, it really helps you a lot. So that's how we do um, compounded interest over different periods of time. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thank you.